Hey guys, Zerlo here. So PAX Australia wrapped up today, and we got confirmation on something that I feel like I was not expecting, but makes sense when you think about it. And that's about Fallout 76. So if you don't know what Fallout 76 is, just to give a very brief summary, it's essentially the next multiplayer Fallout that's coming out in November of this year, so 2018. And it is considered to be one of the biggest no I, I remember bethesda saying that it was the biggest fallout game but people are saying that this could be a fallout game that could completely change the entire game for bethesda because it's way different from every other fallout game because this is online so this is as you can imagine probably going to be one of the more popular or not necessarily more popular but one of the more well-known fallout games because of this massive change in design you have to design this entire experience around the online formula. However, the Nintendo Switch had some problems with that because that's a portable console and having it run a mostly, you no, know, basically completely online game doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And although I was keeping my hopes up to see Fallout 76 arrive on the Nintendo Switch, at PAX Australia, there was a, there's just confirmation from Pete Hines from Bethesda that they're not going to be putting Fallout 76 on the Nintendo Switch and I want to go more into that. So Pete Hines was quoted saying that if the game will work on it we want it to be on every platform possible today and I feel like that is sort of the mindset Bethesda went into when they are developing games like Fallout 76 and he also went on to go say that Fallout 76 is not because it just wasn't doable, but honestly there is no game in development that we haven't had a conversation about bringing to the Switch. And that is, being completely honest, something that I feel like they have done because the Nintendo Switch is quite the market, and considering how popular Bethesda games have been on the console, it's obvious that they would want to talk about all their games in development coming to the console. However, Fallout 76 just didn't fly apparently. He also went on to say that he enjoys being seen as a third-party leader in terms of supporting the Nintendo Switch, and that people go, hey, you got a lot more content on the Switch than this publisher or this company. And he said that that's what Bethesda wants to be known as, and that's what he wants the company to turn into over the years. But most importantly, he wants the company to be known as a publisher that takes risks. And Fallout 76 definitely is a risk because this is a very, very famous game that's probably going to become one of the more popular games on just in Fallout's history. And not publishing that on a very prominent console is kind of, that's definitely a risk. Now, as of my opinions, I think that it does make sense why this game is not coming to the Switch. Obviously, the Switch is a portable console. And when you are away from an internet connection, you will not be able to play Fallout 76. I would, I was going to say that this was similar to Splatoon 2 and games like that. That is majority, the majority of Splatoon 2 and games similar to that is online. However, with Splatoon 2, there's an actual solo campaign. And with Fallout 76, I really doubt that you're ever going to be able to play the game without being tethered to an internet connection. And that's something that publishing on the Switch kind of would make no sense. Of course, if you were in actually tethered to an internet connection or you're just in the home at your home console, then it'd be just fine. But a lot of players and a lot of people who use the Switch actually use handheld mode a lot. So it does make sense as to why, in my opinion, that Bethesda not putting the game on Nintendo Switch makes a lot of sense. And as a bit from a business standpoint. I feel like I could see where Bethesda is coming from. My only issue with this is that if this is signs for the future saying that maybe possibly the next followed solo games or just in general the next solo games from Bethesda may not have a chance of coming to Switch which they very well could but this could be a sign as to maybe Bethesda is starting to lose their grip on the Nintendo Switch and I really hope that is not the case but I'm sort of getting feelings from that because it just sort of it, with the recent Bethesda not really publishing any new games on the Nintendo Switch and Fallout 76 being their next big game not coming to a very 
a, a console that they've supported well in 2017, it just, it's kind of rubbing me the wrong way a bit. It's kind of making me feel a little bit worried, and I feel like I should be worried because if a lot of the future Bethesda games that are solo don't come to the Switch, that would be extremely disappointing because I am a massive Bethesda anyway, fan. Anyway, that is just my opinion, but make sure to leave your opinions on this in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to share it on social media. And as always, see you.